right there. How about now? Let me. We here? They still say, God damn. I'm about to come back. How about now? Now you good right now. You good. Yo, 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 what's good? Good people. What time is it? We finna start. Okay, it's right on time. <laughs> yeah, right on time. Welcome to the SOS Podcast. Number one urban sports podcast that you're going to catch every week, Tuesday, live from 7.30 or maybe 8.30. But whenever you catch it, just know we always on here live. Your boy Bruce T. And to my left, the lovely, the lovely Joy Lachey. Hi, everybody. How's your Tuesday? I also got my guy Quincy in the building. What's here. up, Quincy? So we will be having a uh, 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 commentating from the side. You stand me? Q, you been good? Yes, sir. That's what's up. That's what. Joy, how was your weekend? It was great. What did y'all do? Work. Okay. Just oh, trying. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of bland right there. That's all you had. Work. That's a. That's all I. Yeah, didn't you didn't did nothing happen. Okay. Did anybody see the Grammys? No, I was at work. Yeah, I didn't see the Grammys. Bet. Okay. Well, Cardi B won. Shout out to Cardi. Shout yes, out to Future. Cardi. Young thugger, thugger. Uh, 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 uh. But good people, how are you guys doing? How was your weekend? How was your week? We 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 starting it up right now. Um, we have a lot of stuff to get into this week. Uh, uh it's been a few things popping off, as you guys know. That is the uh, it is the, the what the week after, a few days after the trade deadline. Yes. Some people survived. Some people didn't. Um, relationships with Anthony which, is still in New Orleans. See, why did you have to bring that up first? Because you know they were probably going to LeBron. Don't you? <laughs> Shout out to I all told the, you that wasn't gonna happen. Shout out to all the LeBron fans, not Laker fans, LeBron fans. Okay, remember yes. that. So, um, we finna get into it right now. LeBron I'm trying fans. to tag, tag into my damn Facebook. Sorry, good people. How y'all doing though? Come on, if you see me on here, sure, like, comment, joy, tell your people. Q. I did. Mom, I did. I've already told people to come and join. Nicole, you know? I'm not sure. you joy? I, did yeah. you tell them? Yes, I'm. I'm on. Don't lie to I me. I didn't watch. I didn't watch party. We finna start y'all. Hold on. I want y'all to come on. And get with it. Yeah, I swear he don't trust me. He supposed to be. I trust you. I trust you. I'm just trying to make sure that we are all on the same page. Got you. Some people want to go be carry champion. Baby, I'm better than carry. Okay. I, I can change my hair every week. Damn, I got the wrong password. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean, carry be changing her hairstyle every week? always long and straight i like carrie champion anyway i love carrie so i don't have any of the trades right in front of me not at this particular moment but i will hold on let me know but let, let's let's talk about the, the the biggest elephant in the room you already put it out there yes. joy yes um eyebrow is still in new orleans he's still in the no he's still down there at the smoothie king center um <laughs> lebron tried to give away the whole goddamn franchise he did and I, Magic was not having it. Yeah, Magic said, no, nah, bro, this ain't Cleveland. We, <laughs> we is not finna give up our I whole I told future. you, Magic had a backbone. He realized that that was not the smartest move, and AD went worked all that. It's, it's just crazy to me to, to see that a, a guy of Anthony Davis' mag, magnitude, he, he asked for a trade, um, but he doesn't receive it. Why didn't he get traded to someone? Like, what's going on? Because Anthony wants a lot out of it. What, doesn't he deserve a lot out of it? Um. No. Would you rather get the money now, or would you rather go to a contending team that you know is going to go to the championship? I mean, I would rather go to a, a contending team that's going to get the championship because I'm tired of the money. I didn't. I didn't got enough money. Right. And if I'm not mistaken, we said the same thing last week, where it was just like, money can always come. You can always get endorsements. You can always get this. Matter of fact, AD got endorsements. He got endorsements when he first came in because of his unibrow. So <coughs> that's true. The whole money thing shouldn't be an issue. Only thing it should be about at this point of time. What should it be about? It should be about your your resume. Who's gonna give you the best resume? Who's gonna get you to the championship? Well, you talk. You talking like you are a proven veteran in the league. Like you have six rings <laughs> yourself. Okay. Um, I'm just tired of the Pelican shenanigans. Okay. Um. This that was disgraceful. You could have gave up Anthony. Go on, let that young man walk. Okay, I think that his his comments about Boston were very true, huh? I'm not yeah. signing to Boston ever because look how they did my cousin. I said, shout out to my cousin Isaiah, Isaiah. Thomas. Oh, poor. Man. And my cousin. Why can't I find the go live uh number on here? I'm trying to. Uh, 
What are you trying to do? I'm trying to go live on her, y'all. Hold on. Y'all continue, though. How, how about you go to the SOS page oh, and we all... watch party from your page? I'm on the, I'm on the watch page. Okay. While and... y'all doing that, would y'all, could y'all see AD in Brooklyn? AD in Brooklyn. It's not enough star power for him. Oh, really? I don't feel like there's enough star power for him. And if AD is looking to go somewhere that he's trying to get a ring quick, fast, and in a hurry, it's not going to be Brooklyn. Man, I can see him in Brooklyn. Okay. Uh, How? Because they're going to have a lot of cap space. They got a lot of young talent. D'Angelo uh, Russell. Russell. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. They got the guy who uh, blocked LeBron's shot the other day, early <laughs> this year. He got boy yoinks. Okay. Um. I like, I like, and I mean, it's in New York still. You're still in a big market, you know. Um, you're not in New York City like uh, say, Manhattan. You're in I Brooklyn. I would say that's a whole different st stadium and arena, FYI. So, it's not magic. It's the Barclays. It's, yeah, it's the Barclays. Not no. Madison Square. Don't act like you don't like the Barclays. I love my Barclays card. See, that's you know what I'm it. talking about? See, all that blasphemy. Okay, Q, I love the question, okay? what, where, where, where do you think... AD ends up if it do you think it's eventually the Lakers or do you think you see another dynamic coming up? Um, I know last week we talked about possibly LA and then we also talked about the possibility of going to the Mavericks. Mavericks have been making a lot of really great moves. They're doing some little chess pieces and one thing I can say about Mark Cuban, Mark Cuban knows how to piss you off, but then he knows how to make you say, mm, okay, I see what you're doing here. He does that from time to time. He, he, he does that from time to time. time. Truth. Remember, he's he's taking two teams to to the NBA Finals. Now, we're not going to talk about that first year because they should have won. Oh, no, no. They were up to zero. They should have won that. Okay. Anyway, you got but... It. You know, they come back in 2011, win it, you know, against Miami. You know, that was their redemption year. Cool. Now, it looks like Mark Cuban is back to that. Yeah, his his old self, his old shenanigans. He's not worried about Shark Tank so much oh. at this point. So, therefore. He's, he's, <coughs> Are you throwing he's, slugs while giving praises? Is. That's what I'm you good for. You need to stop that, okay? No. Stop that. No. Be nice. I am nice. Now, I do like that, 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 uh. AD could probably come to Dallas. We, we are making a lot of room for cap space. We mm -hmm. got Porzingis. We got Luca. Do you, do you think Luca will be um, an enticing piece to bring another star athlete here? Yeah, if Luca keeps playing the way he's playing, yeah, of course. Um, like I said, what what these players are looking for now is the star player. And if it's not so much of the star player, mm -hmm. it's about who's going to get me this ring fast. Come on now. You know it's that for sure. Yeah. So. You know, ain't nobody trying to be 35, 36 with still with no rings and icing knees and stuff. Okay. So, so I got – okay. So, look, we're looking at this game right now. We have right. the 76ers on the TV screen. Um, the Clippers wound up sending over uh, Tobias Harris, mm -hmm. number 34, to, to join the Sixers, who, whom I already have traded for Jimmy Butler. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, do you think that this was uh, will help the Sixers solidify themselves in the East with the with the addition? They have a, they have a pretty I, stellar they, starting five now. Yeah, their, their starting five is really on point now. I feel like uh, the Sixers really have a – they actually came out great in the trade, I honestly truly feel like. There were a few losers, Lakers, um, but of course, uh, where there's losers, there's winners. And I honestly, truly feel as if the Sixers are uh, one of those. Um, at this time, Philadelphia is in front of Boston at this very short moment. Yeah, very short. Because Ben Simmons just missed both of his free dog, throws. Please. But, you know. I see what you're saying. So... So let's see what who else? Uh oh, the Grizzlies sent Mark Gasol oh. to the Raptors. They did. Now that's what I'm saying. It's, it, it was a lot of low key. Everybody was looking for the Anthony Davis trade. Okay. Yeah, everybody was looking for that trade. That but, trade didn't happen. But and it was then, some other. Trade. And then it was like some other trades that snuck in, and mm -hmm. had everybody like, whoa, like I didn't see that coming. Yeah, Mark Gasol got sent. Yeah. Away. And who who did they get in return? Um. Not too for sure, but it wasn't anything that Let's was see. the Grizzlies are they're they're a little low. Shout out to my guy Juju. 
Juju Washburn out there playing for them boys right now, but you know they 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 trying to go for a lottery pick right now. They are. But Mark Gasol, him and Kawhi Leonard, I think that uh. That's a good. With, with Cal that's Lowry. A that's a good combo. I'm thinking that maybe the Raptors are maybe winners. In yeah, the, in this the trade. Raptors are definitely winners uh, when it comes to the trade. You know, Mark Gasol got, brings the the greediness, the toughness of Memphis. He's another big. For seven, legit. He's a legit. He, he's a Euro player who, who's been in Memphis his whole career, who's been playing tough. So he has the grit and grind. Um, and wow. with that being said, uh, you make Toronto a more a more tough team when it comes defensively. Right. Um, but then we also realize who else that the Memphis Grizzlies got rid of. Uh, do enlighten us. Do tell. Do tell. Mm-hmm. Who else they get rid of? Mark Randall. No, 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 no. Let's we're gonna talk about that trade now. This is where the Dallas Mavericks are winners. Shout out to the Mavericks. Yes. Shout out to Mark Cuban. Shout out to the AAC center workers who put it in his ear. Um, <laughs> we got rid of uh, Harrison Barnes, ladies and gentlemen. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> now wait, I'm sorry because I don't want to <laughs> leave this wrong charge. I didn't like Harrison. Never, I didn't either. never liked him from from North Carolina. The first few years with the Warriors, and I damn I ain't like him with the Mavericks. Now, look, was he a solid 20? As Q and Monk have, have told me multiple weeks in a row, he was a solid 20 and 10. He was very solid. He was a quiet. He was so damn solid, he was damn near mildew, okay? He was, he was too damn solid. Okay, uh, 20 points come in the first quarter, man, and I don't hear nothing from you in the fourth quarter. I don't care about your 20 points that you I got the first three quarters, okay? I need you to be consistent for me. Come on now. Now, look. We traded that man back to Cali. You know, and that should be good for him. He, he started he need, his career. He needs that sunshine. Now, who did we get? Now, now, you brought it up. Who? Do, now, who did the Triple D get back? Huh? Come on. Shout out, shout out to my guy. Zebo. Z- Zach Randolph, man. Shout out to my guy, man. Uh, uh, yo guy that put it in a verse. He said when they traded Randolph, it hurt the city. Huh? Ah. Yeah, I don't know if you know his background, but shout out to my guy Randolph, man. Real, recognized, real. We got him at the end of his career, but you know what? You'll be a fan favorite, my guy. I don't think he's gonna be in the Mavs jersey though. What you talking about? I, I've heard, I've heard talks that they that the Mavs gonna buy him out. So you trying to say they don't respect Zebo enough to bring him to the squad? I don't know that. I just don't think that he was as part of the plan that we think. That's like, bad. I just want him to play the last few games with Dirk. Dope. I didn't care. That, that would be dope. I just wanted to be dope. 50. Send them off out in retirement. Yeah, just let him and Z. They used to go head to head when it was yeah. the Portland Trail Blazers. Some of y'all too young for that. Some <laughs> y'all too might be too young for that. When the Portland Trail Blazers. You act like you like huh? thirty already. No, I'm just saying y'all might be too young for that. My my membranes they they go back. Okay, uh, it, it was the Portland Trail Blazers and the Dallas Mavericks going mano y mano, man on man, yeah. five on five. Hmm? Right. I didn't mean to get into my rant like that. But shout out to the Mavericks for getting rid of Harrison Barnes, freeing up some of that cap space because he had too much money. He did. Uh, hopefully he does well with the Kings, with um with Marvin Bagley and, 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 and De'Arian Fox. Hopefully they, they put it together. But we don't want you no more, dog. We don't need you taking about oxygen, uh, uh, buying the cars, or even talking to none of our ladies in the Dallas Metroplex. Um, <laughs> so speaking of Texas teams and okay. trades, yeah. What about the Houston Rockets? What did they do? Were they winners or losers in this trade? Um, what do you What did you see? Let's see, they end up getting Iman Shumpert, Nick mm. Sakasis, mm. Wade Baldwin the fourth. Okay, Baldwin the fourth. And a 2021 second round pick. Oh, that's and that, it's cr- so Tiana is in Houston now. Yes, my girl's in Houston now. Okay, Tiana's in Houston, and you and I like Nick. No, say his name again, Nick. No, Nick. Ha- <laughs> ha- no break. What's his name? <laughs> I can't do it. Nick Sabonis. Oh my god. Was it Sabonis? Sacastis. Nick Sacastis. Yeah. I like him. I don't know where he come from, but I know he can shoot. Okay, and I like it. Now, will that help the Rockets move up in the rankings? Um, yes. Did you not see that game? You went to college in Houston, so of course y'all are a little biased towards it. it, it First and foremost, it's, it's, I'm not a Houston fan. You're not a Houston fan. Shout I'm out, not. Shout out, shout out, yeah. Shout out to the squad, I'm, I'm, SOS Nation. I'm just saying, at the end of the day, <laughs> they... <laughs> Put your phone on me. 
I'm sorry. Continue. You're right. At the end of the day, if anybody looked at that game against Dallas, they looked like a more complete team at this point. Who now? Who was the, the Rockets? Look like the, a more complete. Well, the, you, the Rockets. You got James good. Harden. When you whoa, 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 whoa. Um, you got Chris Powell, and you got um, is is Bro back with from the from the finger injury? Um, what's the center's name again, Quincy? Um, oh, uh, Capella. 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 Oh, he's, he's, Capella. He's, still he's still out. He's still out. Okay, so you know when Capella get back, it's gonna be it's gonna be on and popping. So that's what's up. So Iman Shumper is used to be known as a defensive wizard. Mm-hmm. He got with LeBron and got lazy. He Popping did. champagne bottles. Yeah, cause it's kind of easy when LeBron winning sixty games for you a year, ain't it? You ain't got to play defense. Hold on, Quincy. I ain't, the, the facial expression you're making on this side, I feel as Why if because LeBron. Was, I just want to hear everything y'all have to say before I say anything. No, go ahead. We no, no we, we want, want you, we want you, we want you to want you to join because it, it, it wasn't me that said here. it. It was your boy. No, it's just uh, LeBron was winning fifty games for the Cavaliers by itself. True. It true. is true because we all see what happened after he left. It Outside went. of the shooter that Houston got. Yep. All they got out of this trade was the trash can, the trash bag, and the trash lid. Wow. Wow. And <laughs> you heard because it first on SOS. I don't care who they add to that team. Their centerpieces aren't reliable. They don't. They don't. No defense, injury prone, injury. and one of them just. James th- Harden prided his whole legacy and career off stat padding in the season. Oh, we know. And he disappears. In the Thirty. He, isn't he yeah. uh, on a hustle? Paul is like allergic to the playoffs. Wow. <laughs> Let's wow. be real. Cause how it hurts me too. It does. I wanted to see him succeed. We did. He either gets injured or something happens when they. No, no it's, it's not knows. something else happens. He gets injured. <laughs> He, yeah, he, that, that's it. it. That he boy tore a like, hamstring in like, game ham, six. Hamstring, hamstring, get it up. Yeah, growing. James Hart, you know what? It's always something wrong. It, it, do, it doesn't matter what Houston does hmm. at this point. They have to show and prove when it comes to the playoffs is pretty much what I need to see. Like, yeah, don't get me wrong. I feel as if it was a great trade, but still, Houston needs to show up in the playoffs. That's because true. Because what we know from James Harden is this. Exactly. All they really now, did was well, their playoff spot. Now, and that's true. Now, I just want to get back to what you just did. Now, that was a sign. <laughs> you just did. We're trying to see exactly what that was, Miss Lachey. It was a choke. That, or, that's a choking it's sign. It's a choke. So James Harden, go, go tell the people. The f- He's a choke. If you were James a, Harden he fan. Was he a choke in OKC. He was a choke in Houston. Still a freaking choke. Choke He's when he had Ruth Chris can't even cut his steak and chew it. He a choker, huh? So are they? So we have it right here confirmed that the Rockets are losers in this trade. My guy said they're they got not, trash, not trash can juice. They're so. not necessarily losers in this team. They okay. they know how to play. They they can learn and do all this great stuff. The issue is is when the Houston Rockets get to the playoffs, are they going to be able to go over that hump? Okay, I like I, I like the analysis. We will see. I think it has a lot to do with coaching. Sometimes you just can't help it. Can't even get a, can't, you just can't get out your own way. Because I can say James Harden can play defense. Huh. I seen him do it last year until Chris Paul got injured. And, but that's the thing. And they, and they melted the last two games. It, it never fails. Chris Paul gets injured. Mm-hmm. Chris Paul gets injured. And Chris Paul get, gets injured. Shout out to but, the Clippers. Honest opinion, just, just, just looking at the past, what, five, five years yeah. in the Houston Rockets. Yeah. I ain't trying to bash them because bash you know, them because they've been a Dallas Maverick fan like you a Dallas Sony and tell the truth. The past five years, the Houston Rockets have done nothing but show that they're trying to build a team to beat the Warriors. For sure. If that's that statement alone, they've already lost because the Warriors are they built their team to beat everybody. True. So if you're trying to build your super, team to beat super one team, team is, 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 yeah. all you're going to do is throughout the past years beat all the sorry teams and For sure. get beat them down. out by the, the, Warriors. the Warriors. Did y'all see that game against OKC? I yeah. did. They were up, what, 20, 25? 25. 25. Celtics were up to He went back to like, I thought he had all the Pacers jersey. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Tw- not, not we, we saw the real PG 24. 24. Oh, 24. 24. Before the league. Yeah. Oh. Shout out, shout out to P. Jizzle. Even Woo. though I don't, I don't deal with the Oklahoma lights. Shout out to Russ. Shout out to P. Jizzle. Bro, he was acting like a, a point guard. Like, bro, bro, hold on. Don't say acting because I feel like that was a slug. Yeah, it is a slug. slug. He, he is. A sad, he sad is. We're going to get some, uh, some sound effects in here for people that making blasphemy sounds, okay? I don't 
don't care. Listen. I'll make all the towns for you. But uh, he's he's selfish. He wait a minute. He's very selfish. He's not he's selfish. Very, he's a Virgo he and he's just trying to be helpful. His, his level of play is not the the Mamba's level. But well, his, he, he his attitude, his yes. he got that, he got that Kobe right. mentality. Uh huh. But he played he rough. Have, he don't have that Kobe play. He yeah. played rough. Every he time he rough, shoot, he, he does not he's sloppy with it. He's, he's very streaky. Very. He can go like he did last night. You know, yeah. Get some good Sixteen assists or something like and that. And then next week he can go over thirteen. And, like, and and twelve turnovers. You'd be like, damn. Okay, you right. So so let's let let's get a general overall basis. I'm I'm gonna ask this question, guys. Pertaining to the West, pertaining to the East, out of all the trades that you can think of, which trade do you think will help which team the most in their playoff stretch? Like, like you know, would it be the Sixers? We already, we and, already said it. The Raptors. So the Raptors have the best trade that will. I, I honestly, truthfully, feel as if the Raptors had the best trade. Don't get me wrong. There are other teams that had a good trade or a great mm, trade. Here but, and there, yeah. But like. Game changer. That, that was like nail on the coffin. Yeah. How are you gonna put like two bigs together like that? That's true. You got. I mean, they're Mark, they're yeah. they're basically gonna be the team to come out the East. Did, like did the Bucks make any uh, official trades? I'm not too for sure. Uh, I'm, I, I, did Chris Middleton go? Did Chris Middleton get traded? I feel like I heard Chris. No, Mid- he's he, he's still a Buck. Okay, so the, but did, buck. did they not make any? Well, they're already number so, one in the East, right? Let's see. Uh, let's Milwaukee. really. Mm-hmm. Are they still number or is the Celt or the Celtics how they surpassed them? I can look it up for you. Hold on. So let's pretty hey, much go. <laughs> we can go down the tray if okay. you want to. Let's see. All right, there you go. Okay, um so <clears throat> Well the Grizzlies. Uh oh. Uh, what you got, kid? No, they're number one still. Yeah. The, the the Bucks are but no trade? Okay, so they need they, they were good enough. So basically, well, the Raptors got Mark Gasol, and they gave the Raptors gave away who Jonas, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> the Lund, right? <laughs> CJ Mass, shout because out to Dallas, you, shout out to you, Skyline. You got these people, you got these teams emptying out the whole roster to go for this one person. But is it is it truly worth it? Now this is a good trade. What well, we talking about the Bucks, right? But, it was a good trade. Look now, and it was worth it. The the the, the it was a three team trade. Mm-hmm. Hmm? The Pistons received Thon Maker. Huh? If you guys know who Thon Maker is, he's seven three, seven two. Has a little brother who's coming up, but he's a good, long, stretchy young talent. Um, Pelicans received Jason Smith, Stanley Johnson, and a future second round pick. Hmm? Now let me tell you who the Bucks got, and this may be key. Yeah. They got Nikolai Miritich. Okay, the shooter. He's a he, the sh- bullseye. You think about Marco Bellinelli. This is him 2.0. Okay. Yeah, Nick Miritich come from come from right. the Bulls. Play with the Bulls. Had the beard. Right. Yeah, and it came with the. So I like the book. They added that. I, that's a little season, a little sauce, a little hot sauce on your team. Cause now you know Giannis can throw that thing out. That's a scary setup. I'm just He's saying. Already a a freak. Yeah. Literally. Myself, that's what, but that's now what they're starting to build, actually build pieces around. Them. That's right. crazy. And it's, it's showing. Like they, they're number one for a reason. The like, Sixers, who we're watching right now, they actually buffed up their bench. They actually have Jonathan Simmons. They received mm-hmm. him from the Magic uh, while trading away Markel Folks. Um, J. Cole shouted him out. Um, they did do yeah. something to your shoulder, bro. But hopefully, Orlando, the sunshine, the beach, can, can, can help his shoulder out. <laughs> But uh, they also received the protected uh, first round draft pick in 2019, and also the second round. So basically, the the the, the Magic uh, gave up something, but they got some stuff though. Right. Hopefully, Markel can can pan out. Um, and oh man, give me one second, guys. I'm glad you seen that. How did you see that? I looked up. Oh, that shit froze. Man. Oh, that shit did freeze. Back. We back though. They thought we were gone. Sorry if it froze and they couldn't see us, but we back, man. You hear me? Uh, in here like swimwear. So, uh, like we were saying though, it was a lot of trades that went on this past week. Uh, we feel most all that the Raptors came out the biggest winner out of all the trades. Yeah. 
This is what we feel? Quincy, are you agreeing? Quincy, are you in, in cahoots? With, with what? First thing I was looking the, at the live. I'm sorry. That the Raptors came out as the biggest winners of the trade. They actually did. They 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 grabbed. They did something that I haven't seen in a while in NBA. Because it was so under the table that nobody saw it coming. Because everybody was so worried about AD, 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 the the Brown, to the point where when it happened, everybody was like, "Hold on, what?" Mm-hmm. Everybody looked confused. Okay. Yeah, you just gave Kawhi a. A big man. A, a uh, very good big man. Very good. Come on now. A franchise player. Spaniard. Yes. We didn't think he was going to leave Memphis. Really Ever. didn't. His brother was in the same spot, though, until he got traded where? The Lakers. Lakers. Mm. And became mm. that good song. Oh. He went from Paul. In, in Memphis, that was Paul. Oh. He went to L.A. and that pow. That pow. pow. Yeah, get, put some respect on my guy now. So, he I, like, I got rings. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Two times. So I, I like I do like it. Maybe Kawhi and Mark go lead together this summer. Go to the Clippers. Maybe LA. I don't want to talk about it too soon. Shout out to LeBron. So basically what you're trying to say is they gonna end up in LA. Somewhere in LA. They could. I mean Kawhi wants to go to LA for sure. He does. So you know it is what it is. We just have to seek you, you know. He's gonna end up with the Clippers. That's crazy. I don't know He's why. Trying to play with people are starting to see it now. I love LeBron. Come on now. Yeah. I love him. Like that, that is my guy. The GOAT. But. He's at a point in his career where he's not in the same mentality as the people that's playing with him. Mm, 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 in mm. Cleveland, when he went back to Cleveland, he was on a mission. Game. Right. Get, get my get, team get a championship it. so I can. No, not the team. Cleveland. Get, get, get my city a Cleveland. championship. Cleveland. Yeah. This that, is for you. That, yeah. Be that literal <laughs> hometown hero. Get them. I feel them. Yeah. If I had the liberty to play wherever I want to and I could get my city a championship, yeah. I'm doing it. But that hunger is gone. It is. And it's like <laughs> you set a bad tone because you have a young core that is talented. They are who's they, just getting in this. They got another 10, 12, 15 years in this thing. Hopefully. You on your way out. How long now? He got a few years. He got a few Thank years. Thank you. Thank you. Years. Be respectable. He has years. He He's could play. be like Vince Carter. He they could, don't have to carry him off. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Shout out to like Vince. He, he, he's, he's giving off a, the wrong vibe to that young core. I mean, I know it was just speculation or how he was just, they was trying to get rid of the whole team for AD. But it's like, we need to see you be that leader that you were on Cleveland. Yeah. In Miami. Yeah. We need to see that same person in LA. I know he's doing the business move. Okay. I get him. Okay. He in LA, why not? Well, I'm glad to see your fervor for LeBron. I'm glad you're a LeBron fan. It's some, it's some haters out here. Shout out to all the haters who hate LeBron, but me and Q. Q in here lacing you up your own game just, right now. So, like you're going to act like I don't like LeBron? Are you a fan? Yes. Were you? Remember, we had this whole conversation. Did we have a, did we have a moment? Yeah, we had Okay, a I don't remember. Maybe Are LeBron you jumping on game. a bandwagon? It's not really unless you have a little, a little LeBron moment. I'm just trying to remember. No, it wasn't no bandwagon. Because remember, okay. we were talking about the Cowboys. Like, yes, he's a Cowboys you fan. You a Cowboys fan as well? I thought you were a Texan. Never mind. Welcome to the show, SOS Nation Podcast. Your boy, Bruce T. That was so disrespectful. <laughs> Your girl, Joy Lachey. We got my guy, Q, here with us as well. Yeah. This then me. Um, we we going to move on, on from these trade talks because okay. basketball is getting a little heated. Uh, it is. Now, <clears throat> we're going to slide. We're going to slide. Slide to the. We're going to jump right back. Left. Put our big toe back into the football pool. Yes, football. NFL. We got we got we got a few things, a few tidbits, barbecue sauce flavors to get into. Yeah. What do you want to? What, what flavor would you would you want to go? Wanna, so with the NFL draft coming up, oh, okay. I guess the best thing She's to just start take right with over the is. Sickness. I mean, hey, you ass. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Joy Lachey. Hello, <laughs> little princess. Come on now. Come on. No, you got it. But no, with the NFL draft coming up, I guess the first thing we should talk about is. Colin Murray. Mm. Stupid. Talk, talk, ooh, that's strong, strong, strong words. <laughs> talk to me now. What's going on? Even the NFL legends have said, don't do it. Go with baseball. It's better for you. It's better. He just going to split his time up, bro. He going to go baseball and football. It's going to be a split time. He going to put his time in both of them. So why are we even worried about it? Is it something I don't know? 
is it something that we don't know? I, I say I say he gonna put his time in, in both baseball and football. No. Why would they complain? No, because he's gonna fully commit to football. Say say it again. He's going to fully commit to football. So there not- there's no there's no MJ, no Dion, no splitting your time, no. Oh, I'ma retire here and do this. Oh, well, hold on, he might retire and do. Okay, so you talk but, to him now. So wait a minute, he not taking none of the money he got. The four point, the four point eight million. Stupid. Four point seven, four point six million that they they, they signed. He's not getting that. Wow, really? So he just want to play football. I understand you. You straight from Texas, uh-huh. Dallas area. You know, yeah. good old Allen. You know, yeah. he beat us a few times at DeSoto. Four whatever. time champion, state champion. You know, whatever. Heisman but winner. He is a Heisman winner. But when your when your NFL greats tell you that this is not the move for you, that dangerous. You, you should listen. That dangerous. You should definitely listen. I understand you feel as if you got a point to prove because you're the Heisman winner. Mm-hmm. You have nothing else to prove. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, your, I, your stock was there. You didn't need to fully commit. They don't even have a quarterback going in the top 10 like that, except for one. I think it's from Ohio State. So where is Kyler projected to go? New York. Oh, so they're going to put Kyler with the, so, with the with the Giants? No, they got the guy from Ohio State up there. I know they do. No. Oh, no. They, no. Got, they, they want they want that Kyle Mary and Odell Beckham star power together. You see, do you not, do you not see that? I cannot cuz he can't see over the line. <laughs> I, oh. I will not put oh. my faith in oh a, my I'll God. say it again. That I, was I, I told I told you people don't put your faith in a guy with 17 letters in his last name. I told you that last season. What did Jimmy Garoppolo do? He tried to juke on the sideline and hurt himself. By turning his own ACL. <laughs> I told you. Let me tell you what I'm going to tell you again, okay? I ain't right about too much, but I'm going to be right about this. Don't put your stock in no quarterback who 5'5". Five, five. He is not 5'5". Five, five. That man is 5'5". Five, five. He is not 5'5". Five, five. That man is 5'6". Oh, my God. He what is, is he? He's 5'8". Kimbo, with cleats on in the helmet. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. He's 5'11". That was oh. my, that was okay, my fault. That's, he, that's he's he's an he's a average-sized quarterback. First of all, Drew Brees is a real five eleven. He's he's, he's a, a real five Drew eleven. Brees is, Drew Brees is a real five eleven. Like he's shrunk an inch since he was six foot. Give give Drew Collars. But, that, that, but that's but that's oh say it again. His athletic ability. Give Drew cows. Yeah. Well, he's a good white boy to run the ball around. <laughs> but guess what's going on? It ain't like that. And he been having to make a living off one pocket move. I don't. I don't believe in Kyler, man. I believed in him in, in, in amateur football, and I'm here to say it. Just remember, he just threw the biggest interception of his life. Oh, he did. He did. Yeah. I don't believe this is not. This is not Allen. This is not the Allen Eagles, dog. Mm-hmm. This is not whatever middle school you went to, dog. This ain't Oklahoma. This. LeBron, LeBron went off again, but they lost. It's yeah. bad. It's bad. But it's okay. But this is not your elementary Pop Warner team. These big boys out there, look, they 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 shooting up, they popping up, and they ready to hit you up, man. Okay? And the New York media will eat you alive. I personally just would have went to the Come on, bro. I go to Oakland and Cali. Come on, 4.5 million? I was already, I'm already on the team. Like, what is his dad saying? What is his granddaddy? Like, what what is his mama saying? This will be really need to find out. What what, what what are your parents saying? Like, who, who, who's in cahoots with the move? What agent are you are you dealing with? Is it is it Rosenthal? But you know, when dealing with his dad, his dad is like a quarterbacks coach, or you know, he so yeah. of course it's like, well, dad, I want to make you proud. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, so the most the lo- the most beloved position in all of American sports. I don't care what you like. It is the quarterback. The quarter the the, the the quarterback of of a team is the most beloved. Tom Brady, Tony Romo, huh? Roger the Dodgers star back. I'm gonna follow up Tom Brady with Tony Romo. I get you. I get you. That's why my people who love the Cowboys, you know what I'm saying? That's the, some of us ain't never see Roger the Dodgers in Troy. Aaron. Yeah, we, we get to see that. Aaron Rodgers. Discount double check. Aaron Rodgers is a he. He discount double check. He he did it. Mama ah. he did it. Mama wrong though with the, in the little wildfires. But we're not gonna talk about it. Put yourself in college shoes though. I'm a, what, what if he got that sales pitch? I wear a thirteen. I can't I can't wear them nines. He wearing okay. 
feet too tight. Not gonna be able you to do it. You got behind you. You got Odell over there ready to run. It ain't. It ain't even that, bro. That sales pitch probably got him. It probably sold him. Who wanna get hit that many more times? And you gonna get paid? You ain't gonna even get paid four point five like that. With that rookie contract. He's not. Unless you get an endorsement. He's right. And Odell is on every building in New York. Yeah. Not even, but that doesn't. But you act as if they can't have this whole football big three. They can, they can. They can. I can. Eyes on his way out. Okay, let, let, let me let me play. Uh, if if I had the angel on my right, you want to play devil's advocate? Well, I'm, no. already, I'm, I'm already no. a perk. I'm already, I'm already t- It's not gonna work, Giants. Okay, the Cowboys gonna whoop you. The Redskins gonna whoop you, and the Eagles gonna whoop you. <laughs> if you if you pick up Kyler, this is what's gonna happen to you in the next five years. Okay, uh, oh, don't be sad, but I told you from the jump. Now, Maybe baseball wasn't his passion. Kevo, all he had to do is run around the bases. Just run. And guess what? He could have still flew back and played for the could've Buffalo Bills. Could have both. Why are you talking about? Don't let them folks fully tell you nothing. Them folks happy not to give you that money. That's that white folk money in MLB. Had he, so he said he fully committed to football. Like, I'm like, like I'm not taking a contract with the Oakland A's anymore. Yeah, you're crazy, bro. Stupid. Like, what? Baseball, pay, pay more. Off, the, off the real. And all you got the, pitch four, hitting. Four, four point five for a rookie that contract. Was the, that was the signing. I'm sorry. That was a signing bonus. Yeah. So we haven't even gotten to details about a real contract yet, Joy. That was the signing bonus. Four point five. He was making more than his head coach in college. And you gonna say, "Nah, I'm good, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and go prove this point and be a legend. Hopefully, maybe if no injury, if the coach don't get fired, if the GM don't get fired, if they don't like." You know, you know they had to fire everybody in New York. Stop it, man! Look, I, I just so let us know, folks. Comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think. I don't know if people have been commenting. Have people been commenting? I, I don't even know what's going yeah, Benzo, on. Benzo, Benzo, he laughed at some point. Ben, Ben, what's good with you, my guy? Uh, 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 y'all go, y'all go mess with my guy, man. Uh, for sure. Uh, East Dallas Dry Phase, they going all day hot dollar, ten dollar. My guy got you for sure. Uh, Fraser Court cuts. My guy being for sure, for sure. Uh. Let us know though. What do you think? Do you think if it was your son, hmm? If it was your nephew, he wouldn't have gone. That's what I'm saying. Like who, who's around him to talk him? Like why he's going through these decisions? I have no clue. But uh, 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 with, with with that type of, it's just that's it, such a heavy crown to work on the head. Yeah. To to, but to me, I feel like now are we getting to a point where it's don't chase the money, chase the dream. I mean. Is, is that is that what this has come to? I mean, that has, Football, that baseball? has to be what it is because it has to be. That, that's the only logical. That's the only I logical can reasoning. Think of right to where he would pass on the baseball contract that he had. Like, I I just feel he like was drafted. Like, what would like? <laughs> Q, what are you telling Q QJ? QJ's he's already signed the baseball contract. Um, yeah. What I'm, what are we telling them right now? Literally. Go baseball. Like, like come on. There's no point in going football to see what if. Did he you see concussion? Have a guarantee the team. Here. Right. 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 You if you he has to get that money back. That's what I'm do saying. You know, how many black people do you I'm sorry, I don't mean to get this. We don't give nothing we back. We ain't giving no and millions? Nah, especially on this. He gotta give four point five back, bro. He gotta give it back. I thought it was two. It's four point five? That was the signing bonus, bro. He's not getting that for his rookie contract. That was that was his signing. Just sign it. Just sign a piece of paper and say you gonna come play with us after the season. Fair print. Fair for for print. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What league are we speaking of right now? Think about it. They got money to blow over there. They do. They do. Come on. And that's why I'm really just I'm trying to figure out who, who is who, with him right. making who, these decisions because he's yeah. not making sound decisions. Honestly. Like, I. I I mean, at this, my thing is, has he seen concussion? Did he did he watch the Will Smith movie? I haven't even seen it. Of course not. But I heard it was I heard it's pretty gruesome. It is gruesome. It's real life. It is. And shout out to all those victims of the CTE concussions. Um, but I think, and hopefully, Kyler doesn't have to go through anything crazy. Maybe we do. We are seeing Doug Flutie two point oh, Drew Brees three point oh. I don't know. Fran Fran Tarkenton. With barbecue sauce. I don't know what's going on. But what I'm telling you is, Kyle, if you listening, I don't know if you listening, if you if you, if you catch a whim of this, if somebody picks it up for you. 
I want you to know, Bruce T, enjoy, and the whole SOS squad. We all love you here. You a local man, but we want you to go play baseball. Get that paper, that easy money, bro. Invest. And if you feel like, go be Russell Wilson and come spring training, training camp for football and leave. And you don't want to do all that, bro. You don't want to do but, 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 uh, but we'll be back next. What we have talked, what we're going to be talking about. Oh, we got a live call in. Wow. Live call in when we come back. Well, hold on. Do we want to go ahead and get this one out the way? Since we're talking about football. Who, which one? Kareem. Oh. Whoa. I'm sorry, guys. We won't be going on break right now. Give me three more minutes, y'all. Because <laughs> it's not big news. He went from Kansas City to Cleveland. And I'm like, but, but no, 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 no. It no, is no, news. No, no. First and foremost, it's big news because Very. one, he got cut because yes. of an incident that happened two years ago. Okay, and it was blackmailing my guy. I feel like yeah, it is blackmail. They blackmailed him. Then two, if we realize how the Kansas City Chiefs played after they cut him. Mm. This also shows, okay, Kareem, we see what you can do. Mm -hmm. That's true. So now as another team, we're going to bring this person who pretty much changed the dynamic of somebody's offense. To a team that has been looking trying to bubble. But wait a minute, though. Now, we do think the rejuvenating juice is there. But did you guys not see Nick Chubb last year? Nine games, ten touchdowns, nine hundred something yards. This only in only in nine games. I'm sorry. Not. Right. I mean, which is true. I'm I'm not. No fumbles. I'm, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not discrediting the the Browns because mm-hmm. we we've, we've all seen how the Browns have been the worst team year after year after year. Yeah. They get <laughs> first. Okay. <laughs> right. Wow. That's, <laughs> damn. That's. Pretty much a fact. Anybody though. that has Showtime and HBO and all those nice premium channels, mm-hmm. we saw Hard Knocks. We seen them on Hard Knocks telling the number one draft pick. Corey Coleman. Oh, Baker Mayfield. Baker. You get first round draft pick for a quarterback. Just one Heisman. And you do what? Sit you on the bench. bench him. Yeah, sit on the bench. Dog. After you tell him. You're gonna start. Yeah, it's well, it's a lie. It's it was a, a lie. lie. Yeah. Shout out so, to Terod Taylor, my cousin, for for holding that starting position down <laughs> until you got a concussion, cousin. For what? Two weeks. He held it down. What? About two, three weeks. Yeah. They were plotting. But he, he wasn't holding. They, it, he wasn't holding it down. Tyrod was there to almost beat the Saints. Yeah, he tied with the Steelers. Don't play like Tyrod to keep it in the game now. Well, anyway. Shout out to my cousin. Y'all hate it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired. It's not it's not being a hater. It's about being realistic about it. Yeah. First and foremost, you draft this man as your first round for a reason. Why do you have this man on the bench? So He can that, sit on the bench and marinate. The rest of the QB okay. said and marinate. Pause. But you you're pretty much wasting a first round draft pick. For him to sit on the freaking bench and you told him yeah, during gonna, training camp, yeah. yeah, we're gonna start you. Yeah, well they lied. Sorry, sorry, Taylor. They lied. But we're gonna start Baker. Yeah. Then you turn around on game day. Hey, change plans. Yeah, you ain't ready. And then and then what happened? They lost. No, they tied on game day. Okay. They, they tied with the, the Pittsburgh hold on, hold on, they Steelers. Tied, but how but why did they tie? Because okay. Tyrod was holding it down. Point blank period. It was twenty one to twenty one. Tyrod was holding it down. They they were scratching. Then they went to New Orleans the next week and it should have won an OT. They he threw a bomb in the overtime to to tie the game up. The kicker missed the field goal. Mm, mm, mm. What, Shout out what, to T. What, what is the thing that I always say? It should never have to come down to the refs deciding the game. Lord nor does mercy. it. Sh- nor should it have to come to the field goal kicker. And well, trust me, how uh, Joy? How often are you saying this? I want to. I want. We're gonna start. I've, I've said this twice. I've, I've said this twice. I've said this about the NFC Championship when we talked about that that no call. Okay. Okay. I guess you did say that. Give me another time. I'm saying it now. I said this okay. is my second well, you, time. You two for two right now. I'm gonna check you next week. We're gonna see if you're three for three. At the end of the day, we do not let special teams field goal unit. 
and the refs decide no game. Taylor shouldn't have been starting, point blank, period. So now you bring in Kareem Hunt. What what dynamic do we feel as if Kareem Hunt can bring to the Browns? I mean, we know that Kareem is going to be big, powerful, powerful, a strong back, speedy, touchdown machine. Mm-hmm. Um, I just a chip on his shoulder. Does have a, he's he's in his home state. Right. He, he went to Toledo, so you're back in Ohio. Um, so I think that would be a. Uh, Right. A wonderful thing for him to have family around as he's going through this uh, his dire time in need. Because um, you already know what's going to happen next, right? He's going to get suspended. Right. It's going to be the whole Zeke Elliott for sure. shenanigans all over again. And I hate it. I hate it for him and I hate it for that franchise. Mm-hmm. Just take the dang on suspension and get it over Early with. Early in the game. And just just go ahead back. and get it over with so you can come back. They because, probably do that. Because we all saw how... And y'all do realize where this started, right? With Ray Rice. Yes. Oh, and, how, yeah. and how he beat down his baby mama now wife. Yeah. Just, just, yeah. yeah. So now. I mean, she's spitting in his face. No one, nobody should be spitting in human's face. No human should spit in another human's face. Yeah. face. I'm just going to put that. That's a, that's a golden this is, rule. This is true. That's true. But I understand what you're saying, friend. I mean. No, I mean, <laughs> but the rules change for the NFL misconduct. After that situation, yeah. so now they go into every situation. Well, this person said this, yeah. and this person said that. Yeah, they do. We don't really care about the facts, but this person said this. This happened, yeah. This because hey, that's true. You right about this that. is what happened. Ruben Foster. Zeke. A lot of people have been getting suspended. Is what I'm trying to yeah. say with you. Like, A lot of people has have gotten suspended. Some have been stripping. false, and they've get uh, Ruben Foster was falsely accused, but then turned around and and did it for real. <laughs> Yeah, he just that was. He's so smart. I want to. Yeah, that we're gonna say that he's, <laughs> he's so, so smart. smart. <laughs> yeah. Cause yeah, he tripped out. But he, I, I I think Kareem will do the Browns some good. Uh, you have a young core of uh, offensive players. I think he'll fit right in in his third season in the league. You're right there with the rest of the young guys. I, I like it. I, I, I'm glad you good at this, girl. What I'm talking about yeah. goddamn routine, goddamn Charlie Shay here. Um. Anything else you want to add to that? No, we can definitely go on break Q, down. anything you want to add to that, my guy? No, nah, I just want to see what they do. I mean... You a Browns fan now? They all babies. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they, they have so much to prove, but they're making the right steps towards redemption in the NFL. Square business. I, I will say that. That's it. Now, yeah. rede- is Kareem moving forward with redemption or the Browns are redeeming themselves? The Browns are moving more towards redemption thing. It's a coinky thing. They had to pick up somebody who's looking for Mr. Redemption. Hunt has just got a he, chip on his shoulder, yeah. and he about the ball out. He, I, I was in his court now, so yeah. it's, it's up to him. If he can go out there and give him about four, five hundred yeah. yards in my four, what, it's six, about ten games, you work yourself back into shape. Baker, I like Baker, it. Rich. Baker, Nick Chubb, yeah. uh, Callaway, and Joku. They got some players. Mm-hmm. Right. They got a good squad, man. That's what I'm saying. They, they're taking the right steps towards Y'all let us know if y'all like the Browns for next year. We, we'll see if we're going to put them in our parlay favorites uh, of covering next year with Kareem Hunt. Um, but when we, when we come back, we're going to go on break. Not too long. Y'all stay right where you at. Look, go get you some soup. Go get you whatever you need. Your wine coolers. Uh, 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 y'all don't listen to this, man. Your, your, your swishes. Whatever you need to watch me enjoy, you go get it. You come right back. We're going to be here for like three minutes. We're going to be gone, bro. When we get back. Live call-ins. That's right. We got a new segment. We got a we got new ownership in the building, okay? Live call-ins. Yeah, we, if, if you got something to say, you got a topic, you got something on your brain, on your membrane, give us a call. Comment. Comment below. Let us know. Hey. Let that highline be. We, we want to talk. We'll, we'll comment back to you. Give you a number to call. Might be my number. Might be Joy. Might be Q. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> but whoever number it is, we're going to get somebody right over there to you. So you can give your opinion. But you join us on the SOS Podcast Nation. Me, Joy Lachey, Q. Yep. Yeah. Let me go ahead and put the... Uh. Bit. All right. Bro, y'all are missing the fuck out this game. This uh-huh. game is lit. Ooh. Nah, it's lit for sure. This game this is gonna lit. It's the Comics Finals. It's the, it's the, it's the Comics Finals. No, so, it's not. The Raptors. It's the Raptors and the Sixers. Or Raptors and I'll say Boston. semifinals It'll be them And it'll be Milwaukee And Toronto okay. And then it's Whoever's out of that 
Like, and that's why I like LeBron leaving the East, East. because that was the best it, thing for the East. It was the best thing for the East. It's actually an even playing field over there. Yeah. It's and it's funny because it's really an even playing field in the West because it's not just oh LeBron's automatically going to come out the West. Same. He he's yeah. he's having to work for it this yeah. year. Yeah. Everybody's so quiet now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 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 Yeah. So basically. God went to Texas Tech or whatever. He got drafted by the Redskins. Redskins end up having to cut him because of something he did in college. So I guess this is where this whole like people get suspended, all this other stuff is coming in. I'm like, dang, like I ain't realize it happened to you too, bro. What's his name? Uh, Nigel. What a nice name. He got cut. Yeah. Because of something that happened to him. Something he did. Something back he in, did. Yeah, something he did back in college. It was Nigel Bethel, uh, B-E-T-H-E-O, went to Texas Tech, little brother goes to uh, the U. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, met him. Who's he with? Who's he with now? Yeah. He got so, picked back up? No, he hasn't got picked back up. He's actually uh, in Arizona. So he was on his way to Arizona today mm-hmm. to do arena uh, football. The AAF shit? Yeah. So his, what is it? His college coach went, you know, college coach went to um, to Phoenix or whatever. Arizona. Cardinals. Mm-hmm. So he's trying to get him to do this uh, arena football, you know, so the Cardinals can look at him, this, that, and the other. So maybe move him up. Yeah. So met him today. Hella cool. He asked for a number. All right, you know, we've been talking business. I'm like, yeah, I could, like come, come stop by. Mm-hmm. Is that another? I'm trying to get us some interviews, man. All right. Look, I'm over here trying to use my job to fund my dream. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell him to bring whatever paper, whatever paperwork you got. Bring it. Come on. <laughs> yeah. we need sponsorships. We need all of them. How do y'all feel about that? Like we're sticking sponsors. I love. I love. Who do we stick right. to? Because people, I, I told people about the, the little commercial we got. Hey, right. like, hey, that's our three minutes. Oh damn. Okay. Waikita. We probably gotta go to the hood, but he right there. Though. The, the yeah. Williams Chicken headquarters is right there. Like, People telling me like in the hood, and he how cool, cool they are. Bro, I'm telling you, show it to we ain't gotta pull up no bro. formal proposal. Nothing, crap. I'm we telling you. Go show him the video and be like us hey, regular. Man. He gonna be like, oh yeah, I like all oh, that the job doing. I'm with it. I am. I ain't been playing. Hmm? We got a call. I'm about to call him now. Okay, bet. <laughs> I'll, I'll save we, my question for when y'all come back. When y'all come back to what are y'all about to do? The call. The call. That's oh, what are we what are we asking? <laughs> yeah, like like y'all know what y'all about to talk about or this is uh, this is the Colin segment. This is the Colin segment. We're gonna let the, the fans well, pick the what they want to talk about. Bring back of what you said because my question like piggybacks what you were talking. Okay, about. what part? Just <laughs> how he got he, he was in the league. Okay, yeah. And he got cut for something he did. Yeah, he was in college. college. Yeah. Okay. Does that got you? Okay. You, are you, is she is she to bring up the exact names or just bring up an example examples of or the exact story? I mean, because um, people gonna, if people gonna know exactly. Like, I mean, I guess you. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I got ready. We, 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 we about to come back, and you gonna be on. So I'm, I'm, I'm handing you the joy. Like, what was the question? <laughs> Come on, you're about to be live. You're about to be live on on the pod, bro. We're potting. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. So, I'm here for yeah, Get your game face on. Okay, we back. Thank y'all for uh, staying in tune with us. We, we coming back live right now. We Once again, we want to just shout out to everybody that's watching. Shout out to my guy Danny for letting us use the Bunker Geek League Studios located in a hood near you. Actually, it's not in the hood. It's downtown central to where you not. But what I'm trying to let you know is we here, man. Shout out to my guy Monk, <laughs> the CEO of this. Put it the platform together. Instead me. Shout out to my guy Q. He rolls yeah. the beautiful bean footage that, that encapsulates all this beautiful manilin. 
on, on, on our skin and, and then set out to joy to my left. Hmm? Bringing all the, the, the sauce and season that you need. Um, um, uh, flying in to a studio near you. We right here. And of course, it's your boy Bruce T. You understand me? Birdman, rub hands. You understand me? I'm her. Shaq so or die. Lotion, huh? Hold on, quit playing with me now. <laughs> but we back though. SOS podcast. Podcast. Thank you for uh, listening, watching. Um, this is the Colin segment. So I, we I, have I, our who? first caller on the line. Hi, BT. How are you? BT. Oh, okay. Did you have any questions for us today? Uh, you know, I know y'all are, you know, D-Town affiliate, you know, but I just wanted to talk about this whole, just just ask about what y'all think about this whole Texans getting rid of Demarius Thomas day. Today, and bringing up set for 14, I believe it's $14 million, and now they are in, they have a total of $78 million in cap room. Okay, so uh, my partner in crime, do you want to kick this off? Demarius Thomas leaving the Texans. Well, I think it's a, it's a good thing uh, when you got a guy like uh, what's the what's the star wide receiver down there? D Hop. D Hop. When you got a guy like D Hop down there, man, um, who's catching everything but the flu. With his hands. Um, Please. literally catching one of them, the pure catchers, and you got a guy like. Uh, Deshaun Watson, who's uh, I would like to say he he he's gonna spread the ball around, but he's more of a he's not gonna get it to Demaris. He's gonna get it more to the tight ends and to slot players. And Demaris is more of a, a split out, wide out type of guy. And you have a guy like D Hop, who's already primarily in that position, who's a better player at this time, younger at that. Uh, it's time for him to move on and go try to get to another team, another franchise that could help him. Actually, flourish or, or or end the rest of his career. All right, I like him actually to go to, if not the Texans, maybe somewhere like the Tennessee Titans. You know, yeah. Marcus Mariota needs a wide receiver to go alongside with Davis. Um, maybe he could go sign with a team like the Chargers or something like that to get that veteran leadership. Um, help with that wide receiver core. But I think it's a good move for him to leave uh, the Texans though. Right. Won't be until next season. So, not this season coming up, but next season. 21. Yeah. 21. 22. Yeah, so that's what they were doing. And I'm trying to think of what other moves they would make with $78 million in cash space. Oh, uh, well, you just try to draft well. I think right. Bill O'Brien, he's learned from a guy like Bill Parcells. So, he'll try to go through the method of, of drafting and really trying to do scouting and studying of players. But uh, I just think it'll be a lot of, even though I'm, people like a lot of star power, I think it'll be a lot of shenanigans in the locker room. If you have D-Hop and Demarius Thomas, I mean, De- Demarius is a, a Super Bowl champion already. Um, and with a guy like D-Hop who hasn't have, had a ring yet, but he wants his stats, they may come up with issues with touchdowns, um, catches, yards. I'm not meeting my quota to get my money. So uh, I think right. the Texans can bounce back, but just... Like I said, with more young talent. They need to sure up their defense, for sure. And, and and maybe also their offensive line. They don't need a wide receiver. They need a, a tackle or a center or maybe a guard. And so this is me challenging you. You're saying through the draft. But you're not thinking about anybody that could be Franchise tag him and pay him next year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you could. I, but I don't. Do I see a guy like Le'Veon coming to Houston? Um, I just can't see it. I can't really see it. Me myself. Now I do love the location. I mean, it's in Houston. It's. I think it's, it's good it's for the culture. City. Um, I think he would like that. Uh, I, you have your young core of players is Deshaun Watson slash also uh, D Hop. So I know you you would like to be around that core. Um, but it's just where is it going forward with the coaching, with the, with the GM, with the owner just passing away this last season? We're trying to see exactly where the franchise will be headed in the next two or three seasons. Uh, JJ Watt will maybe be retiring or being cut or more uh, merciless. Whitney merciless. You know, there's a lot of players you guys have 
who might be getting cut or or is getting older older in age. And like you said, J- J- Jadavian Clowney may be leaving with a bigger contract on the horizon. So Le'Veon could come, but I, I, I would think that it would have to be a better situation for him to actually come and um just want to sign a long-term contract. He could come for maybe a season, but a long-term, I'm not too for sure with the Le'Veon Bell at this moment. How you how you feeling about the war about the about the Houston Rockets man and uh and the trades they made uh di- you know halfway through the season what do you feel about the trades? Man, that trade was gonna be it's gonna be literally the worst trade that the Rockets have The trade's really not going to do nothing. They're trying to get people that are being bought, bought out. We see how that happened. We see how that worked out with Melo. Um, right. People, mm. get, now, people that are getting bought out at this at their state at this stage in their career, you really don't see anything that's going to happen with them. Uh, Harden going on a tear for fifty and still losing games. Yeah. It's really you just really now you're just trying to keep your team afloat. By you know showing the fans, hey, we're trying to do something until you can get your core back with CP3, Harden, and Capella, because Capella's out for I think like a, the next month because he had something go. He had a major injury. Yeah, the so, finger. He broke, yeah, broke a yeah. finger. So, so BT, let me ask you this, man: Do you see the window closing on this Houston Rockets team? Okay, as long um, as is, is James Harden is it, as long as James Harden and Capella are there, is, it, is the window always you know kind of open or is CP3 that big of a difference? Pause. We already talked about how C, how CP3 is injury prone. I'm talking to and, a Houstonian though. Okay, who's down there? Who's we, feeling that? But we also talked about how James Harden is a choke artist. Oh. Well, well, well. well, well. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, BT. Let us know, man. How how you really feel? Let's let, look at now. I'm not gonna say choke artist, but he's not a LeBron. He can't do it by himself. Okay. Uh, he's maybe at this point. I'm even gonna put him top two in scoring in in, in offensive mastermind. He I'll say top two because I still think if you put KD on any other team that he's gonna go off. For um, sure. It's just for me, Harden is not. That guy Harden is a great comparison to a Peyton Manning, the mm. greatest uh, regular season quarterback I've ever seen. Yeah, but gets to crunch time. It, it some people just have that 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 dog in them to where they got to go get it. And I don't think Harden has found that. He probably got it lost somewhere in that nappy beard. But that's about oh. it. Oh. That's what's up. I like that comparison, man. He is a Peyton Manning. I love that comparison. Really, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that from you, BT. Going forward, when I, when I, when I argue with people, I like that, man. Um, go, go right ahead. But to answer your question, with the whole uh, 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 the window question, it's really not a window question. It's just slowly but it's sure, it's for sure closing it's because Harden just turned in thirty, about to be thirty. Well, Harden being thirty, about to be thirty-one. Uh, it's, it's really gonna it's really closing in now. Yeah, he may have hit his prime a little bit later than most, but it's really closing because how often do you see 34, 35 year olds taking their teams to NBA championships? We're not talking about Jordan. We're not talking about LeBron. Right. We're talking yeah. about a young man that nobody thought was gonna be anything. Uh, until he stepped on the court coming out of Arizona State. That's true, cause I I did, he didn't hit the scene until he got to OKC, and I was like, okay, now where is he from? So I do believe that truly. BT, um, it's been a wonderful time talking to you this Tuesday. Call us every Tuesday if you want to, man. Let us know. And if you folks out there want to talk to us, give us a call. I told you, man. Comment. It's a new segment. If you didn't know, now you know. Every week, we will be calling people, or you can call us. Let us know what you think about the show. Let us know what you want to talk about. But please, please just call in. Joy, is there anything else you want to add tonight? 
So uh, there's something that we talked about during the break. Uh, basically, for people who don't know, I work in public service. And um, I had a guy who came in today. He had on the University of, he had on the U, University of Miami. So it caught my attention because, you know, that's that's my city. So uh, after talking to him, I'm like, hold on, you kind of, like, this name looks familiar, blah, blah, blah. He's like, yeah, you know, I used to play for Texas Tech. And now, you know, I, I got drafted by the Redskins after that. This is what happened as far as I got cut because of something that happened in college. With the conversation that we left off of, you know, prior to the break and taking the call, because of the rules and all the different things that have come forth with, whether it's a lie, it's the truth, Mm -hmm. and all that crazy stuff, it's really knocking down chances for people to have their shot. So now we have this young man that is going through hoops and bounds trying to be back in the NFL. He's doing arena football, and luckily his coach, his old coach from Texas Tech is now with the Cardinals. So he's setting up everything for him, you know, like, hey, you know, I know you, I know what type of guy you are. I know that wasn't you, this, that, and the other. You know, somebody that still believes in him and wants to give him a shot. But, of course, he's not the only person that – that can make that call. He has to have everybody on board to make that call yeah, for him. So with that, you know, I guess my, my guy for the day is I just wish some way, somehow that these rules kind of change as far as, you know, if this person can truly play and it was something that was minor, not something really big as far as, you know, something that's going to keep this person in NFL or take this person out of the NFL that is making a legit living for themselves, can we kind of over, like, yeah. either, not so much overlook things. Yeah, like, I agree with suspensions on certain things, and but when it's a lot, it's a lot. Yeah, we got we got to crack down on that. Not even that. Like, just, like, just the, the, the era that we in and the culture we in of condemning someone for something that they did years ago. Mm-hmm. Like, not even sports, just with Twitter. anything, mm-hmm. like, Going back like six, seven, eight, middle nine school, years, seeing something that they did. Like, oh, no, no, yeah. you did this, so yeah. hold on. Yeah, we in that culture. Um, well, you know, guys, I, I, I try to, we are in that climate. Yeah. But I try to keep my 90s learnings. Hmm? <laughs> I come from the Polaroid camera. I come from the snake Nokia phone. Yeah, everything ain't supposed to be, you just, just act. What's your grandma used to say to you? Act. Like you got some man. You might not have no manners at all. But, but you we, act. But you act like you got some manners. And, if, and I feel like if y'all keep that in y'all heads where you're going, you, you'll do well and, and treat others how you want to be treated, man. But uh, we got to stop this, though. Yeah. Quit putting yourself in crazy spots. And, 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 and people, you know, treat others right, man. I don't know what to tell you, but. Yeah. Now, let, let me justify this. Okay. I'm not saying. Okay. Come on now. Since she got both sides. Yeah, because you know people was, people was saying. We don't support yeah, anything we, we, we wrong. Don't, we do not support BS. <laughs> I, I'm going to I'm no I'm, I'm, I'm leave yes. it at that. I, I don't. We <laughs> don't. Yes. I don't yes. support any type of BS. If if this person has done something, mm-hmm. by all means, he should be, he, yeah. he, something should be done, but completely Making this person just cut this person completely out of out of a league and cutting this person off a team because of something that happened years ago, something that this person has probably worked on or yes. or something that probably was lied on him for. That's not right. Like we're in a climate where we're not, we don't give people the chance to grow. <laughs> we don't give people the chance yeah. to to show their differences, show their growth, show their maturity. In like you know certain actions that they've done when they were young and like not really right. thinking because of mind future. you we're talking about somebody who was still in college. Yes. Well, I mean you know some people get um that talent sometimes um out outweighs the bad decisions. You got a guy like Tyreek Hill who did some things in college. Yeah. He's played plays for the Chiefs. Um, yeah, of course you have others who who've done things crazy, but the talent sometimes outweighs the um the bad things. So. Hey, my guy, whoever you are, I hope you get to where you're trying to go to. Um, and any other young athletes or any just people in general, if, you, if you're looking at us, if you're not, if, you, if you're talking to your friends, if you don't know, just don't. If, if, 
Look, just don't put yourself in no crazy spots. And I can't say what I want to say, but you know what a crazy situation is. If you can hear your mom in the back of your head or whoever raised you in the back of your head being like, that mean don't do it. That mean you wrong, bro. So if you can keep that, you good, man. Um, um, anything else you'd like to add? Let's end on a good note, though. Yeah, let's end on a good, good note. note. Uh, Shout out to all all the all the Valentines. Yes, Valentine's hmm. in two days. Might not see you on Thursday for the podcast, but I uh please go to the store and get your favorite love glove. Don't be out here just acting crazy, okay? <laughs> because you cannot be these are the babies that will be born around Christmas, okay? No, uh, November, they they are definitely they, Scorpios. They Scorpio babies. They're Scorpio babies. They Sagittarius babies. No, they're Scorpio babies. They Sagittarius. March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November. Yeah. They Sagittarius slash Scorpio, baby. Whatever you. Some of y'all come earlier. Some of y'all come a little later. But I came early, so I wasn't a Scorpio, baby. I'm definitely a lucky leaper. But hey, whatever. Well, well balance your scales out. But whatever you do, any anybody got any plans for that? Where y'all going? Do y'all have any uh, ideas throw out there? We are not nothing. I talk, can't, talk to I, the I, public. I would not kiss and tell about my plans. Wait, okay. Well, we don't know. Well, I put some out there now, fellas, ladies, because ladies, y'all can get your man some too. This is not just a holiday for the ladies. Okay, ladies, uh, put first your, and your thought and feelings into your man. Sometime, all right. Huh? Anytime I do anything for my man, he always come back satisfied. Okay, therefore, all gifts, all gifts are great. No. We just, well, I'm gonna nah, get, I'm gonna get, I'm accept the, uh, 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 I'm not accepting that. I'm talking, <laughs> no, 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 I'm talking, no, it's not that. I'm no, you bringing I'm that. Ta- I'm talking about actual gifts. I'm okay. talking about, okay, I got, yeah. I'm, I'm, I was, at, I'm at Burberry. Okay, that's cool. Now, now that's, now, we, we're not at Gucci you, this, you, this week. You had a, you had a different tax bracket. This is for my people who eat ramen noodles right now, okay? <laughs> if you ain't got nothing to do, you can find some to do. Let's find something real cheap. Okay, let's have a '90s throwback party day with your, with your, with your mate, huh? Southern skate, Redbird skate. Go get some skates and, and skate and ride. Get you a bottle, of, a, a personal bottle, and tr- bring back some memories. Do something. Go out. It's gonna be cold, so you can't do a little, a little, uh, a, you know, a little vacation out there in the winter. But what you do is you go. Yes, find you can't go somewhere hot. Yeah, man, go to the Reunion Tower. Go to the bridge off Thirty and sit and just. Talk. Oh, you, you know what? You you said it already. I'm in a different tax bracket. You, I'm, yeah, I'm, just, I'm, I'm talking just, about Turks and Caicos. Oh yeah. This, if you if you ain't got a car, get on the red line or the blue line and go. You gotta go. Uh, Dave and Buster's uh, West End. Go, come on, come on down. But y'all do something. And if you ain't got nobody to spend it with, spend it with yourself and be glad that you're here. Go grab huh. one yeah. of them scooters. Go around the city. Yeah, do yes. something. Grab a scooter. Grab a scooter and go, go around this. Shout out to my guy Danny yeah. with the scooters on deck yes, right around Danny. the place. You can come get you a scooter right here off the street. Shout out to Danny, okay? But this is a season of love. It's still Aquarius season. Hmm? Shout out to all of my Aquariuses out there. Um, keep spreading that love and humanitarianism. All right? I don't even know if that's a word. But if it is, if it is, it sounded good, okay? Um. Is there anything else you would like to add? No, that's it. All right. Well, this has been another warm edition of SOS Podcast Nation. Uh, we were live here at Geek League Studios. Hmm. Shout out to my guy, T. Monk. All right. And uh, to the beautiful and lovely Joy Lachey to my left. Oh, thank you, Bruce. To my guy, Q, yeah. right here in front of me. Okay. He he didn't run the beautiful bean footage today, but he was giving all the actual factuals in the yes. background. Hmm. And, of course, me. Huh? Varnell Hill. All right. Ah. Hey, catch me over there with that leg getting that catfish, man. All right, that's what I'm talking about. We do our own fishing where I'm at. Shout out to everybody that love me, and I love y'all. You know what? It messed up again. <laughs> it did. Bruh. Oh. Okay, it's cool. We're going to put it right back. Boom. <laughs> hey, he's trying to tell us. Wrap it up again. We, we back. Okay. We back. So, like I said, I'm... Can't even give you what I just gave you. That was organic what I gave you. But I love y'all. We'll see y'all next time. Join us next Tuesday at 730, yeah. man. Yeah, they wrapping up now. Right. Okay, it ain't going out. Don't talk yet. All right. We good. I thought you were saying something. That's why I said hold on. <laughs> you see.